It was supposed to be a routine day at sea. The world's largest aircraft carrier, a floating fortress of steel, sailed confidently across the vast ocean. However, the weather then turned hostile, and the calm waters transformed into a wall of chaos. No one on board could have predicted what came next. As waves rose higher than skyscrapers, the massive carrier began to struggle. Its sheer size, which once made it invincible, has now turned into a weakness against the angry sea. For the first time in history, the giant vessel found itself trapped in a storm it couldn't control. The crew's confidence quickly shifted into fear. Onlookers around the world could hardly believe the reports coming in. How could the largest warship ever built be stuck in the middle of the ocean? This wasn't just a challenge for the sailors on board. It was a direct test of human engineering against nature's raw power. The aircraft carrier wasn't just a ship. It was a floating city. Stretching over 1,000 feet long, with a deck wide enough to launch and land fighter jets, it carried thousands of sailors and advanced aircraft. At sea, it was considered untouchable. Until that day, each part of this vessel was designed to handle the toughest conditions. Its engines could push through rough waters, its radar tracked anything within miles, and its structure was reinforced against attacks. But even with all that, the ocean's fury proved too much. Nature didn't care about steel, technology, or power. For the crew, this wasn't just a mission anymore. It was survival. Supplies had to be preserved, power had to be maintained, and communication lines had to stay open. The ship's size that once gave comfort now became a burden, as every giant wave slammed into its sides like a hammer. Inside the carrier, chaos quickly spread. Alarms blared. Orders echoed across the decks and sailors rushed to secure aircraft before they were thrown overboard. Fighter jets weighing tons were chained down, but even they rattled under the storm's force. Every corridor inside shook with the violent movements of the sea. Dining halls turned into emergency stations, while bunks rattled as if the ship itself was groaning in pain. Some sailors compared the noise to standing inside a thunderstorm that never ended. Yet despite the panic, discipline remained. Training kicked in. Every sailor knew their role. And in those hours, bravery was tested more than ever before. The enemy wasn't another navy or a missile. It was the relentless, unforgiving ocean. As the ship tilted dangerously, the situation became critical. A rescue helicopter was called in to secure injured sailors and deliver emergency supplies. Hovering above the storm-ravaged deck, the chopper battled hurricane force winds to stay steady. Spotlights cut through the darkness as crew members were lifted one by one. Each rescue felt like a miracle, with the helicopter swaying violently as it pulled men to safety. On the deck, sailors waved frantically, signaling pilots through sheets of rain. This was no ordinary rescue. It was a fight against both time and nature. Every minute risked another wave tearing into the ship, and yet the pilots didn't back down. They knew the carrier couldn't survive on its own. Just when it seemed the carrier might be lost, the storm's momentum began to shift. Engineers in the engine room pushed the limits of the ship's power systems, forcing it to stabilize against the waves. Slowly, the massive vessel began regaining balance. The crew's coordination became the deciding factor. Damage control teams sealed flooding compartments, while pilots on board readied aircraft in case evacuation was needed. The ship wasn't out of danger yet, but the tide was beginning to turn. Sailors who once thought the ship would capsize now felt a flicker of hope. Their combined effort had bought precious time, and the world watched closely as updates streamed from the middle of the ocean. News outlets around the globe broadcast the drama live. Images of the carrier battling monster waves shocked millions. Military experts debated whether such a ship could ever truly be unsinkable. For many, it was proof that no machine, no matter how advanced, could ever dominate nature completely. Statistics later showed that the storm's waves reached nearly 70 feet high, the height of a seven-story building. Wind speeds clocked over 150 miles per hour, stronger than most hurricanes. Against those odds, survival was a victory in itself. The event became more than a naval incident. It was a reminder of human vulnerability. Even the world's strongest warship could be humbled by forces far beyond human control. Eventually, the storm passed, leaving the ocean eerily calm.
The carrier, though battered and scarred, had survived. Repairs took weeks, but the story of how it endured became legendary. Sailors who lived through it described it as the longest night of their lives. Military officials studied every detail of the disaster. They wanted to understand how to make future carriers even stronger, more stable, and more prepared for nature's fury. Lessons learned here would shape the design of ships for decades to come. And so, what began as a terrifying ordeal ended as a story of resilience. The world's largest aircraft carrier had been trapped, nearly broken, but it proved that courage, teamwork, and determination can withstand even the deadliest storm. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and share it with others who love military stories. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss updates on the most powerful machines at sea and in the sky. What do you think about this incident? Was it just bad luck or a major oversight? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear your take.